All right, just quick uh, video to go over all the, that's not the right one here, all the perks that I currently have engaged here. Okay, so let's start, let's just start right here. Okay, that's where I started working on. Actually, no, that's not true. The first thing I started working on was sneak, okay? And, um, so this why I put one in stealth, muffled movement, light foot. Uh, light foot allows you to step on all pressure plates without triggering them so you can, you know, set off traps. And I've also got backstab, uh, sneak attacks with one hand and weapons now do six times da six times damage. And this is, this one here is the most important. Deadly aim, sneak attacks with bows do three times damage. That's one of the first perks that I went straight for uh, at the beginning of this walkthrough, okay? And then I've also got an Assassin's Blade, all right? So that's that. Next. Whoops. I don't know how I canceled out of that. Next. Speech. That's not the next thing I worked on. One of the things I really focused on was alchemy, okay? Um, alchemist, I got five out of five, uh, I've got the fifth level alchemist poison. Potions and poisons you make are twice as strong. Each level gives you 20% a 20% bonus on the strength of your potions, okay? So uh, level one we give you 20%, level two we give you 40%, et cetera, et cetera. And this one here I'm not really that interested. Potions you mix that restore health, magicka, or stamina are 25% more powerful, but you have to get this one in order to get this one, which is very important. Benefactor. Potions you mix with beneficial effects have additional an additional 25% greater magnitude, right? And these two I just got basically to kind of like fool around. I'm not really that particularly interested in it. Um, but, um, oh, I think my wife just walked in. Hi, wife. <laughs> Want to come and say hello? Hi, Slack. Hey, how you doing, Mrs. Slack? What you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm playing video games. You're playing video games again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. You were doing that when I left three hours ago. No. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, yeah, the poisoner. Poisons you mix are 25% more effective. This one I was kind of... Uh, I thought this was really cool. Poisons applied to weapons last for twice as many hits. The way you can actually put this to good use is you poison one weapon and then you can save the second dose by simply switching to another weapon. And then uh, that way you don't have to use uh, up both you know, shots of poison right away. So you keep two weapons, right? You poison one, it's got two shots of poison on it. You whack the guy, for example, with um, paralysis, which is a really good poison to use. He gets paralyzed, you switch to another weapon, you finish him off, and then you go paralyze somebody else. You switch back to the original, you know, poisoned weapon. So that's how to put that's, that's how to put that to good use. This is another thing I also did here in the master walkthrough I didn't do in my original adept walkthrough. The green thumb perk, which allows you to collect two ingredients uh, for every plant that you harvest. This also works on chicken eggs, by the way. We were discussing this on whether this worked on things like butterfly wings and stuff like that. It doesn't work on that, but it does work on chicken eggs. I just tested that out. So you do get two chicken eggs huh? <laughs> for what it's worth. Next, um, enchanting. Here I've got the enchanter maxed out. Same thing as alchemists in the alchemy tree. Enchanter, new enchantments are 100% stronger and each level, one, two, three, four, five is 20%. So enchanter one, Enchantments are 20% stronger. Enchanter 2, enchantments are 40% stronger, etc., etc., etc. This one here is also very important. Skill enchantments on armor are 25% stronger. So when you're making um, enchanted gear, you definitely want to get that one. That's very important. Okay, this one, um, not really that interested in, but I have. You have to get it in order to get the extra effect up here. Uh, can put two enchantments on the same item, which is really, really good. Dual enchanting. All right. So that's that. That's the shortest way to do enchanting. Otherwise, you have to take this branch here, which means three perks, spending three perks instead of two. Okay, see, one, two, three, instead of two. Okay, that's that. Smithing, I only took it up to glass smithing. I took the light armor route. Okay, here we go. Steel smithing, elven smithing, advanced armors, and glass smithing. And that's all I'm going to do because with glass smithing, you can max out the um, armor cap. Your armor can only be 567 tops, okay? And I'll show you that right now. Apparel, see it's actually at 687. That's with my shield, but if I take my shield off, I'm at 586, okay? And that's only with glass um, armor, okay? So I'm not gonna take 
smithing up to dragon scale. As a lot of you have been asking, am I going to do that? No, it's no point. Dragon armor, it's no point. Even though I'm just like five shots away from getting it. Uh, block, this is something I've been working on recently. Got shield wall up to one. I'm going to keep working on that. I just, you just guys just saw me do this power bash and deadly bash. Um, archery. Yeah, this is something I worked on earlier on in the walkthrough. I got overdraw up to five. Same deal. 20% each time. Overdraw uh, one is 20%. Overdraw two is 40%, etc., etc. Eagle eye is something I really like. It allows you to zoom in while you're aiming so that you know you get like a better view. Uh, steady hand, I never really got into. I don't know why. Um, power shot, arrow stagger, all but the largest points for 50% of the time. Very, very useful so that when you're shooting away at somebody, um, half the time he can't advance on you because he's getting staggered. This is very useful too. Quick shot can draw bow 30% faster. And that's all I did in archery. Next, light armor. I've just started working on this. Uh, I got two in Agile Defender. This, is, this was just to get my armor up to over the armor cap. And this one here, custom fit, 25% uh, armor bonus if wearing all light armor. And that's what I always do. I prefer light armor. All right, sneak we already covered. This one last thing I forgot to hear, speech. This speech I just got up to 70 to get the investor perk. Although we've been discussing this too, the latest patch in Skyrim has made this, um, you can no longer do this. When you get the investor perk, you can invest in any merchant and you know give him 500 gold and that permanently increases his gold supply by um, supposedly the same amount. But there's been this either glitch or, I don't know if it was really a glitch because it was stayed in effect over nine patches and they finally got around to patching it out on the latest patch. So I don't know if it was actually a glitch or just a feature that they decided to do away with. But anyways, that feature is if you invest, if you get the investor perk and you invest 500 gold with Lucan at Riverwood, it bumps up his gold supply to 10,000 gold. Okay. Now that's no longer in effect. As of patch 1.09, that's no longer in effect. So um, if you're at patch 1.08, that's your last call to um, play around with that. Right. And I'm not going up to one. 0.09 because I really enjoy having Luke and having 10,000 gold and I think that about covers it yeah that's it that's all my perks so there you go that's the perk review video um, I forget who asked for that but there you go sorry I was so long in getting around to that I just clean forgot about it all right and I'll title this video accordingly so everybody can find it easy and that is that all right so I'm done uh, thank you all very much for watching and join me next time when we take on some more of the Companions quest line, another rating quest for Ayla. All right, and if you thought this video was remotely entertaining, don't forget to give the old Slack there a thumbs up. Yeah, all right, that's it. Slack is out.